Hey guys, today we're gonna continue Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna start off where we ended the last episode right away, so let's go. Yeah, so we're gonna begin from where we left off. Left off in the latest episode. Morning! A new day, a new morning. Let's see. What do we have? John Marston? Ooh. Oh, that's the only mission we can play right now, so yeah. Don't have much choice. John Marsh Mar Marston. John Marston. John Marston wants to talk to you. We want to talk to you as well, John. What's this? Is this a picture of someone? Yeah, of two people. Charles photograph. Oh. There he is. It must be... Uh, Charles must be the kid, I guess. Or am I wrong? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say anything. I guess, because Charles doesn't look like that. Maybe I'm all wrong now. Antagonize. <laughs> What do you want? He oh, told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Look Manor, that just south of State you got. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. What we you get a wagon full of some flint oil. Put it on the tracks. Oh. They see it. They know they either there have to you stop got or die. Attention. You know, train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you might be the first bastard. To ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> so we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, we yeah, saw I know you. Just the place. You're always heading into that me. refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Dewberry. Okay, cool. So we're planning to do a train robbery then. Wagons can be sold for John. Wagons that can be sold for John are blipped. Blip. Okay. Let's go and fetch a wagon. I don't know how to say it. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Really? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Thanks for the offer, right, though. Arthur. Oh, John is uh, riding away, actually. That's cool. Oh, boy. This is white horse. This must be a Dutch horse. Oh, it's like a unicorn. The Count. What is it? <gasps> Albino. It's... What does it say? Which elite albino? So beautiful. Oh. Maybe we're gonna steal that from Dutch yep. later on. If he's a douchebag later on, gonna steal it from him. He's leaving the camp without the horse. Let's steal it. <laughs> Never gonna know. Uh, why, Arthur, do you got my horse? No, no, no. I found just the same as yours in Valentine. And I don't know what happens to yours, but this is mine. <laughs> what is this place? Is this a kind of fact? Can we be here without folks are getting suspicious of us? Oh, look at the horse, Billy! You're so gorgeous! 
I love you with a new saddle and all. Arthur, you're looking good as well. I don't forget you. You are handsome. You ain't allowed around here. Really? It's all good. Calm down. Okay, so of course the wag. Oh, that horse. Keep oh, they went in there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna leave. I'm, I'm gonna leave. going already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the wagon is inside here. Uh, but we got. Wait a minute. Cornwall oil wagon. Can we steal that one? No. Which wagon can we steal? I don't get it. Which one of these? Hey! You're trespassing! Down. Down. You're trespassing? I don't think so. Oh! To no! Hell with you no! no. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, you guys! I wanted to press R1 and I pressed R2. <laughs> Witness! <laughs> Of <laughs> myself right now. <sighs> I'm blushing. Oh my god, I scared myself doing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we can't go back there right now because we got a witness of the <laughs> Okay, um we just gonna need we need a little bit of time before we go back there. My dogs are barking because there is another dog outside of the apartment that's yelling. Okay, there seems to... They seem to calm themselves down now so we can approach the, <laughs> this again without our weapon and Bailey is close yeah Bailey is close uh, but I don't really get which wagon is it that we can take is it this wagon with the oil thing it's blinking so I guess we can take this one but there's a lot of people in here gonna do this because it felt like there are more people over at the other carts or wagon than this one. This is only this stupid man who's looking at us. Uh, he's gonna look here all the time. I'm gonna send Billy away actually. Go on then. So if it's gonna be a gunfight, I don't want Billy to get shot. Billy is the most important like, right now. Uh, is that Billy running over there? I think so, yes. Okay, I need to concentrate. <laughs> uh, he only stands there looking at this direction all the time. I can't just walk in there and take that when he's standing there. Uh, let's go and look at this other one then. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Gonna try this. Crouch on there. Okay. Those two are just standing there. What about if we go here instead? They're looking that way. Nobody there. Okay. Here's a dude. And a dog! Okay. 
I don't like that the dog can see us and then warn these guys. Ooh. Which wagon is it? Oh, it's that wagon over there. I think we can get that one. Without the bloodhound seeing us and that guy. Yeah, this wagon is much easier to take. Why is it standing over here? Yeah. This was too easy. Why did it... Why was it placed outside of the camp? I don't get that. Well, I'm glad it was. It was much easier to take this one. So we needed to park this wagon. We needed to hide it so John and I can find it later on, I guess. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna hide it here, I think. Next to this house. There we go. A wagon for John. We're gonna cut loose yep. the horses. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There we go. Tell John back at camp that the wagon is in position. Yeah. I'm just curious because we got so lucky in the last episode. We found $150 in the chimney uh, during that Hosea mission. So I'm gonna check this. Oh, I can't jump in there. I'm gonna check this chimney as well. I'm just obsessed with chimneys. Oh, but there's a cellar in this house. Okay, no, nothing in the chimney, but look at this! This is like, exciting. What's that? A script over there? Yes! 1883, maybe? Let's see. What does it say? It says... Gus? Gus... Pickrel. 1853 I think <laughs> Can you see it? What it says? I th I think it says Says it Like that Cool Okay, so somebody has been sleeping down here Canned vegetables Can't take anything Oh, Arthur Oh, well, lucky there wasn't a body in there. <laughs> I mean, I would have been so scared if a body fell out. Leave Billy here as well. Easy, easy. He can also go and take some grass, eat some grass. Hey, listen. Oi. I just wanted to say, I love you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. <laughs> Even you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> here we go. What? No speeches, please. We're back home now. There he is. So oh, everything's going please. to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. <laughs> Uncle Sean. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crow. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. <laughs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. 
Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. Mm -hmm. We love you too. Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Strauss doesn't matter. Or he doesn't care at all. Look at him. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. <laughs> Welcome back, uh -oh, Sean. Oh, here comes Trump. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. Your drinks are on. Oh, so this, they're celebrating the, the safe return of Sean. They always Aww. are when you ain't bad. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Thou stop. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. <laughs> so, what now? Come on. Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay He's been through a lot. You know I thought you were Irish. What are you saying, Dutch, about well, this? We got him. Well, you, you don't need to fall over to run with the rest of them. <laughs> and now we're stuck with him. <laughs> Start singing. Mark well what I do say. And she was little, 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 all the way. He can't put my hand he got the on the toe. Mark well, what I do say. She says, she says just make me rather low for the little, 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 little day. day. <laughs> I put my finger on her knee, Mark well, what I do say. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, singing is not your strong suit, okay, Arthur? I put my arm around her waist, Mark, well, what I do say? She says, you man, you're in great place for the deal, 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh, Mark, well, what I do say? She says, you're getting pretty high, you're in great place for the deal, all the day. I put my hand upon her. Well, what I do say? And, and, and ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you never need one of those, Uncle. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we was going to see you again. Ah, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, is that right? Who's playing? Is it Dutch? Oh, look at those two! So nice! Oh, look at me! Look at me! With the bell of the ball. Oh, stop it, you! This is cute. Wow, we and Dutch. Oh, and this girl is that Mary Beth? <laughs> yeah, it is. Can we dance with her? <gasps> yes. Sure, but much of a dancer. Cool, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let a girl wait. Hmm. Oh. Arthur, you can't sing, but you still <laughs> sing. Arthur, <laughs> but you can't dance. dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. That's what you think of me. <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. You're welcome, darling. <gasps> Very cute. <sighs> Alright. You well? How are you holding up? I'm surviving. Good to hear. Thanks. <laughs> um, okay, guys. I don't think we can go to sleep right now because of the... It says sleep, but... <laughs> Those two. What are these guys doing? Tilly and Javier. Was it a long ride back with him? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> it was with Sean. <laughs> you okay, Tilly? <laughs> yes, just relaxing. 
So good to have Sean back. Yeah, oh. well, you say that now. I have to have here. <laughs> I, I think we gonna try and go to sleep. Let's see if it. Oh my god, no. I need to see. What is this? Why is he sitting in his lap? On a roll along with the light, light. Oh, wait a minute, girl. Is it no that? No, is it? Karen. Karen. Oh, she missed Sean. <laughs> Sean. Big man. <laughs> so, you got your buddy back? Wasn't the same without. Nope. <laughs> okay, guys, I think this is enough for Thur to celebrate. We need our beauty sleep. Let's sleep until morning. I was wondering how he's capable of sleeping while this party is going uh, on, but Arthur is really tired. Go! And they're still sitting at the campfire. That's so funny. Haven't they gone to sleep? Okay. Things to do, I suppose. Hey, Pearson. Ugh. I am never <laughs> drinking again. Until later today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to sleep now. I slept for seven hours until the morning, and they're going to sleep now. That's sick. That's a real party. <laughs> Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. So we have something with uh, Charles? Go hunting with Charles, yes. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. <laughs> Bison. Bison? Bison. Mm. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Wow. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? Yes. I'll show you how we hunt them. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Funny as okay. is that I already got a bison pelt <laughs> on the horse. But yeah. <laughs> show me Charles. Because this is just a level one you know, uh, bison. It was so. before my time, of course. But my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Sorry. Incredible. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Bring down one bison. Which weapon is good for bison? Shotgun bow. The bow, I guess, is too weak. I want to get regular regular arrows. Shotgun we can't use. Carbine repeater, it feels like that's too weak as well. I'm gonna try it with a bow, actually. Let's see if it's possible. Can we kill it? 
Why can't we kill it? Can we kill it with a knife? <laughs> oh my god! Kill it, Arthur. Well done. Well done. No, that was terrible. All right. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns too. It can all be used. I get so disappointed when I do it like that. I didn't have a good enough weapon to kill a bison. Charles should have informed us about that. We need a better rifle. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Alrighty, God. <laughs> this, uh, but yeah, replace okay. it then. Let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Oh yeah, they're carcasses. Many of them, three. Oh. Look. Yeah. Listen. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. Is it poachers, maybe? I guess it is. Killing for fun. They didn't take the skin or the pelt or anything. An no, they've been shot. Or the meat. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them yeah, here to rot like so that. Yeah, that's so weird. That's not normal. They didn't kill kill it like we did because of the meat and the pelt. Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Where I don't see it. Oh there it is. Did it pop out? Shot him left for dead <laughs> From again. nowhere. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Look at it. Poor thing. Yeah, just left to rot. Okay, here is a camp. Chewing tobacco? Yes. Moonshine? You find anything, Arthur? Nope. Your horse. Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. See anything? Yeah. Horses. I see horses. Uh, I guess. Uh, Arthur, look. Oh, okay, Smoke no. to the north. Yeah. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. I just wanted to check it then towards. Oh my god. What is that? Barrel overhead. <gasps> Beautiful. Idiot. Okay, I'm coming, Charles. I'm coming. We got more important things to do than look at horses. Killing for fun. Yeah. We can talk. That's not okay. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Well, maybe they should get a taste of their own medicine. Somebody kills them. Look, more dead bison. For fun. It has so, to be that. I can't see. Come on. Wait up. Oh yeah, they're... Oh my god, they killed so many of them. Now you got a big problem. I want to teach them a lesson that they will never forget. We're angry right now. Look at him. Shoot those bison. 
What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? <laughs> Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Don't say did that, Did you shoot Charles? them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison, we'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We... <laughs> oh, it's not business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. He looks like a Stand Viking back, with that. <laughs> I'll get you some answers. With that hair. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those there. bison and leaving them to rot? Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. God damn Beat it! Him. Tell us, and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh, to frame Please, the Indians. Don't kill me. I'm begging you. I don't know what I should do. I've heard enough. I'm sorry, but I need to listen. I need to listen to Charles and for the bisons. Damn for the bison's right. sake. Yeah. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. We're bad at them right I now because see if there's anything worth taking from we killed them, but I can't let him them. go. If you, if you are like that kind of person that kills for money, you you don't deserve to get another chance. No, I'm sorry, but you're not. I don't want it. Oh, what was this? Poison's throwing. Oh, okay. Nice. So we have to learn this, I guess. What's that? <laughs> we can take his hat. The bear hat. <laughs> Look at it. This hat can't be stored, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, that was a really emotional uh, mission, All I think. Right, boy. Because this is a big problem yep. in reality as well. But I'm not gonna go into that right now. We're so gonna enjoy this game. Let's see. Uh, what can we do right now? We can go to John Marston and is it Micah? Oh, Micah! Micah asked you to meet him at his camp near Strawberry. Good morning, Arthur. Okay, so we're back here at camp. Let's see what these guys well, are up to. Apologies for anything I did last night. <laughs> Honest whittler in all Ireland. <laughs> Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it! <laughs> yeah, after well, that rough don't night. Get too comfortable. All right then. All right then. We saw black water. There's pink and tins everywhere. Mm. So no getting in? I don't nope. think so. Not for now, anyway. Okay, let's do John's mission because we got that uh, carriage for him. So let's see what we're gonna do next. John. Yeah. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Lenny. Charles. I'll go get him. Oh, Charles. Meet us at the wagon. Look, Lenny. Can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> next time, <laughs> let the wolves eat all your brain. <laughs> then you'll be a genius. <laughs> So stew. Oh, okay, so we just activated it. We can't do anything right now. <laughs> John. That's a nice dude over there, John. Uh, Swanson, are you drunk? Uh, what did you call a goddamn oh, drunkard? Oh. 
I got yeah. no idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no wonder he called you that. He fell to sleep. No. Almost. Oh my god, Bill. Why can't we antagonize you? <laughs> I've had enough of you, you sour old hag. No! <laughs> oh, shut up, Arthur. <laughs> I didn't want to antagonize Susan. She didn't care. Yeah, there we go. Hey, bad Bill Williamson. <laughs> Is that meant to be funny? Yeah. It's all good. Calm down. <laughs> oh, hello, Sadie. Hi, Pearson. No, nope. Morgan. No, nope. Pearson. How are you doing, Sadie? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just yeah. let me know if there's anything I can do. At least we try. We try. Okay, Abigail. Hello. Come here a minute. What is? Sure. <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very <laughs> funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> John. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what are we gonna do with Jack? Jack boy? Go to Jack. Where are you, Jack? Is he looking at Billy, maybe? Or... Oh, he's sitting there on the ground. Doing something. What are you doing, Jack? What you up to? Anything for me? <laughs> I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose oh, made me one. Good. Well, let's Aww. go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't you always? He's gonna go and get the. Oh, right, he's all so small. Lift you on when you're ready. There you go. Okay. Boy. There goes his rod. Oh, Arthur. Oh, this is so cute. Look at it. Right. Little Jack. Off we go. Let's go then. So. Oh, this is so going? cute. Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. <laughs> so, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much for kid no more. <laughs> well, your mama might disagree. There are a few <laughs> other women, I guess. What do you mean? No, uh, not married. I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. <laughs> I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Oh, yeah. Really? I made a request. When? Well, of course we're going to do that. We'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yep. Right back, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Okay. I always thought that Jack has... Right. Voice. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like a normal shot. <laughs> uh, he, he sound, he, his voice is kind of weird. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? He should be no, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, follow it's me. Kind of creepy. Just by the water there? You mean? Yeah, that is creepy. <laughs> doesn't sound like a shot. And uh, yeah, our rod is what? First, we need some bait. Cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. 
cheese? <laughs> Bellier the better. Now, <laughs> cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, Whee! not your elbow. Like that? That's Yay! it. Good. Very All good. Now, good. Jack is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's <laughs> nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, Nibbler. that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Yes, it's Is it a big one? I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Oh, you're in the wrong way. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna oh, try to reel him in. Oh, that's a small fish. In, nice and steady. That's really small. Little gill. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as small as you. We yeah. should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance yeah, to grow good. up a bit. Yeah. That's not a lot of meat on that one. <laughs> Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Okay, sure. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Can we trust that? Let's try again. Arthur, I would keep an eye on Jack, but is that only me? But you don't seem to care where he's going. <laughs> well, I really trust Jack. Whee! Hopefully it's a bigger one this time. No, it's really easy to reel in. Gonna be a small bluegill again. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. No, this is another <laughs> one, but it's really small. Oh, a baby fish! Look at it. So cute. Oh, this one's a red fin pickerel. Pickerel. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't need that one. Too small. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Oh no. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? Yeah. Oh, if you're lucky. Oh, that was a bad throw. But until then, you just. That was a real bad throw. Wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Mm hmm. Huh. You've got a bite, okay? There we go. <laughs> it's a small one. It's the same one again. Yep. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace oh, I made. Beautiful. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. <laughs> You're a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. What's the fuck? Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? How do you know yes. our name? Arthur Morgan. Yeah. Yes. Vanderlyn's most yeah. trusted Keep associate. Keep Jack safe, please. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate Dutch. murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Oh, nice I to finally meet. Bumps. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? Oh, for me? That's really... Here. We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen That's him a lot for of money. months. That's so. 
Because I heard the guy <laughs> fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that we don't know anything about that. Old fashioned nowadays. <laughs> Apparently not. Listen. <laughs> this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy oh, being a rich so man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your Ooh. fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. No, oh, that was intense. I got goosebumps. You scared oh. late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yeah. Abigail is not gonna be happy to hear this. What happened? Come on, Jack. This was not a fishing trip that we was planning. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want mm. them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just mm. fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from yeah. folk like them. That's true. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I got it. Good. Need to give it to Abigail. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Again, there you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Yeah, you are a good boy. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Come on, well, What do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay, guys, a fisherman man. That was really intense. I got goosebumps all over. Oh, uh, so they're after us. They know we're in the neighborhood. Oh my God, Dutch! 
Don't push us, okay? <laughs> he doesn't want us to stand There's outside of his tent. <sighs> okay, so we did that and we're helping John right now to do this train robbery. So we have a lot of things going on uh, right now, so yeah. But we're gonna end the episode right here. Maybe this one is uh, got a little bit shorter, but yeah. We're gonna end it here. I think it's a good place to end the video. Um, so let me know in the comments if you're still enjoying this Let's Play uh, of Red Dead Redemption. I still love it so much. This is one of the best games ever, uh, as you maybe would have guessed that I think. I said it a lot. Uh, but yeah, don't uh, forget to leave a thumbs up as well and subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you in the next episode.